Welcome to the PLC Professor YouTube channel. This is going to be an update as well as an introduction for a new course that is online, available as a video subscription. We originally started with MicroStarter Lite, which was free from Rockwell Automation, and all of the projects revolved around the MicroLogix 1000 and 1100, which you can use that software free for. From there, we uh, continued into RS Logix 5000, Studio 5000. We probably have done more in that arena than any other of the controller areas. And then we updated the original series to the MicroLogix 1400. And that is the only remaining lab project manual for the older stuff, for MicroLogix. Now this was written with the 1400, Micrologix 1400, but you can use it with any Micrologix or even Slick 500. Two things to look out for. One is your I.O. You may not have the exact same I.O. nomenclature for any controller, but this was done with the, the embedded I.O. in a Micrologix 1400, but you can use it with any Micrologix or Slick 500. So we're still offering this manual for the older stuff. And then for 5000, uh, we have gone through a number of iterations where we're currently at is we have two manuals. We have fundamental programming. This is the 2019 edition and this is the 2020 edition for programming examples. This is one set right here. Now, the reason this one says 2019, this one says 2020, is because I upgraded some of the lab projects in this manual, but not this manual, because this is all the basic stuff. This is more the program and examples. And we have it split up this way for uh, universities and colleges where they primarily want to use this manual and then refer to the projects in this one in the order that they want including inserting their own projects into fundamental program. So we're still offering this set, and that is it for the basic stuff for 5,000. Then we've got the advanced uh, discussions and lab projects for 5,000. And this has the languages in it, structure text, sequential function charts, charts function block diagrams, motion, add-on instructions, and all the more advanced subjects. So those are the three documents that you can still purchase for 5000 Now, a while back, we picked up the Micro 800 with Connected Components Workbench. And we went through a couple iterations. And the one that is currently on the website is part one and part two. This is one document, but it became too cumbersome for one spiral binding. So we broke it into two, part one and part two. This is second edition. These are still uh, current, and you can do the projects in here with the simulator starting in version 12. Then we had a third document for Connected Components Workbench, and that was with the Panel View 800 and PowerFlex 525. So these projects integrate into the projects in this set of manuals. And in that set of manuals, there are little blue boxes at the end of certain lab projects that say, go to this one, do such and such lab, and then come back to this set and continue on. So those three documents can be used together if you want to do Micro 800, Panel View 800, and PowerFlex 525. More recently, we upgraded just part one of that two-volume set. So this is now... 266 pages and it says third edition this particular manual is the manual for the course that we're going to introduce today and that is fundamentals of PLCs using connected components workbench with the micro 800 controllers now all the lab projects in this manual were done with hardware hardware you see sitting behind me and around me so this course is fully lectured fully equipped and fully software, meaning that we used everything available that you could possibly want to develop these lab projects. But when it came time to do the lectures that are available now on a subscription, 
we use the simulator because version 12, this was originally started in 11. When 12 came out, there was a simulator. And there, there might be still one bug in that simulator, and that is a watchdog timeout. If that happens, tech support is saying that's an issue with your computer running too fast or too many cores. So you simply go in and reduce the number of cores for Connected Components Workbench or even more directly, the simulator. I think it works better if you reduce the cores for CCW than for the simulator. That being said, the simulator kicks butt and takes names. It's great. Absolutely love it. And it really does simulate a LC5048IO controller. It's not an emulator. It's a simulator. So this manual, which is available now on the website, PLCE University, Part 1, 3rd Edition, 266 pages, 66 pages. You have to have this to do the course. Or if you have the older set, the most of the projects that are in here are in the older set. So you could use the older set and just subscribe to the videos. So you need to purchase this manual, third edition, part one. And then when you're looking at this on the website, if you go down in the description on the website, there's a link. You can click there to subscribe to the videos. I would order this first and make sure you have this in hand because a subscription for the videos is for a set length of time. The service that we use for the subscription charges us for each person for each day, so to speak, or each month. So it can't just be on there for an unlimited time unless we charged you an unlimited amount. So we have a fixed amount, which we think is reasonable. You can finish this whole course. I mean, watch the lectures, do all the projects. You can do it in a week if you really busted your butt. I mean, I worked on it full time, day in and day out. 30 days is more than reasonable. You ought to be able to completely finish it leisurely, working a number of hours per day, finish the whole course in 30 days. Now, let me tell you about the course. The course, besides having the manual, has groups of lectures. The first group, physics, electrons, electromagnetic force, force in motion, volts, amps, resistance. Those are physical lectures, and those are actually free. Now, we embedded them in the series, but they're free on YouTube, so you're not paying for those. So if you're watching them thinking, hey, this is free on YouTube, it is free on YouTube, but it's for your convenience that we put them in to the menu when you're watching your subscription. The second group are what I call philosophical or mood setting lectures. Uh, what does a PLC do? Why would I pick a PLC to solve my problem? What are input field devices? What are output field devices? What is PLC hardware? Where does it go? What is ladder logic diagrams? And then that all culminates basically in what is a PLC, where we tie it all together. This is philosophical, uh, excellent, detailed, animated graphics and everything. But it's generic, except that you're going to see a few things that smack of Allen Bradley or the Micro 800. And after all, this is a course on connect Connected Components Workbench with the Micro 800. Okay, after you finish those lectures, then you're going to jump into the lab discussions, M1 through M something. So M means for micro 800 versus P something if you were actually going to do some panel view labs, not in this course. This is just micro 800 part one, just the basic stuff with some good practical applications. So you would go right to M1. Now there's a lecture to attend for every single lab project, beginning with M1. And you can do it in several ways. You can do the lab project in your manual with the simulator. You don't need to buy any hardware. You need the manual, the subscription to the lectures, and then a computer with an operating system on it that is compatible with Connected Components Workbench. And by the way, you want to make sure you have version 12 or newer. Right now, 12's current, 13's coming out soon. So you don't have to buy anything but the manual and the lectures. So, as I said, you go in here and there's a number of pages to read, technical discussions, the kind of uh, are a shadow of the lectures, the philosophical lectures. 
So you go to M1, you can watch M1 lecture, which is the wrap up for the lab. You can watch that first, then do the lab. You can watch the lecture while you're doing the lab, and you can watch the lecture after you're done with the lab. It's your learning experience. Whatever gives you the most when you get done with that lab, that's what works for you, and that's what we want to do for you. So you go and you do the lab projects one at a time in the order that they're in the manual. Also, there are lab projects in the manual that aren't labeled M1, M2, M3, and so forth. But they have to do with configuring RS links. If you download CCW, Connected Components Workbench, and you load it on your computer in its full-blown capacity, you're going to download some Factory Talk Services platform and some other things to do with Windows. If you don't allow those to load, then you won't have something, you won't have access to the new, if you want to call it RS links, called Factory Talk links. With Factory Talk links, it's really pretty cool. It's plug and play. But to make sure we have you download RS Links Classic Lite and set up your Links driver either with your hardware or with a simulator. And we do have lectures talking about this, the software uh, loopback, the loopback software feature that works within your computer to run the simulator, or you can attach it to the network interface controller, hardwired one, the RJ45 on your computer. But you can't do that unless it's plugged into something. I don't mean just plugged into a cable. The other end of the cable has to see some electricity. So you have to be plugged into something live for that to show up. Or you can use your wireless adapter. Either way, there's lectures to get you up and running with the simulator. And you're going to love the simulator. So that's about the gist of the course. Uh, as I said, go to PLCE University to order your manual. And then once you get the manual, if if you go down in the subscription, and by the way, you can do this when you order the manual or before. Go down into the description for the manual on the website. Down at the bottom, it says click here for subscription. If you click there, it's going to take you, right now, it's going to take you to Vimeo, where you can watch a trailer that kind of gives you an intro to the course, but that's as far as you can go. And you can scroll down and look at all the lectures but you have to subscribe in order to get access to them. So that's pretty much where we're at. Um, this is all we have left going on for Micro Starter, Micro Starter Lite, Select 500, MicroLogics. And I showed you the set of manuals for 5,000. Now, the only difference between RS Logics 5000 and Studio 5000, for the most part, is the startup page. Okay? Now, with some of the newer versions up in the 30s, um, they kind of added a space cadet look to the ladder logic, so the instructions have a little bit more fluff to them. I prefer the older, plainer stuff, but they, that's just, you know, me. So these three documents are what we still have for 5,000, and that's it for 5,000, okay? And then, of course, this for... Uh, MicroLogics, and then remember that we do have the panel view in PowerFlex 525. But today, we're we're pumping this up. This is a good course. I'm telling you, the lectures are really good. The lab projects are really good. And guess what? This is just part one. This is now a separate purchase. You don't buy part one and part two as a set. You just get part one, 266 pages. So it's enhanced and added to greatly from second edition part one. We are now also starting on the exact same format for a course that's going to be this title, but part two, third edition, with a whole new set of lectures. And we're, we're going to add a considerable amount of lab projects to the new part two, the third edition. So hopefully, you can benefit, benefit. And we're not going to take videos off of YouTube. Now, I did recently remove some old nasty videos back when I had a crappy microphone and my software wasn't really great. I couldn't keep the video and the audio in sync. I didn't have the real expensive software. Since then, we've moved well beyond that. So I took off some of those videos and I immediately 
got orders for the hard copies. So I still have a couple dozen of those sets of DVDs for the older lectures for the lab projects that go way back to a decade ago. So we did eliminate some stuff, but we didn't take any of the Micro 800 free stuff off of YouTube. All those lectures are still there. Introduction to PLCs is still there. So we're only going to take off of YouTube what we think is of not real good quality. And then if people go and watch and they go, oh, this, this stuff is junk. And then they skip on to something else. So enjoy. Thank you.